This video brought to you in part by these fantastic Patreons. Patreons are the lifeblood and the backbone of this channel and help with cool things like the giveaway in the description. But let's get into the video. Greetings, Commanders. In typical fashion, as soon as I post a speculation video, the patch notes come out the next day. I have really been digging these in-depth patch notes that the Azure Lane team has been firing at us lately, but let's hop into it. So as expected, we are going to be getting the rerun of the Visitors Died in Red event. This time around though, we are going to be getting Mogami and Yukikaze in the build pool and Mikuma from the reward points ladder. Shokaku and Zuikaku will make their return as per the original, you will be getting Zui from the map and the Emma exchange. Akatsuki will be coming from the ladder rewards as well as a drop on the map. Nawaki, Issei, and Hyuga are going to be in your build pool as well. We talked a little bit about the retrofits in the last video, Foxhounds getting some major upgrades, but Mogami is going to be coming out of the gate with hers as well. I am a little bit disappointed that they didn't push the Issei Hyuga retros in with this patch, but like I expected, we probably won't be getting these until later this summer. So this is a lot of new stuff. So let's take a look at each of these ships. Starting off, we're going to have Yukikaze, which has a lot of people, including myself, fairly hyped to be honest. Yukikaze is a Sakura Empire destroyer to add to the massive amount of Sakura ships that we've been getting hit with lately. Not only is she one of the tankier DDs, but she is also one of the higher torp damage carrying DDs, being outclassed by only a few other SRs and some of the retrofitted ships. But what really has me hype about this ship are these skills. Yukikaze of Kure, while alive, reduces damage received by your backline by 3.5 to 8%. And once per battle, when any ship in the backline drops below 20% HP, this heals them for 4 to 10% of their max HP. So reducing damage and healing. Yeah, that's going to help a lot with ships eating fireboats on your backline. Not only that, but the unsunk lucky ship. This is going to be a 5 to 25% chance to activate when taking damage. And it's going to decrease that damage to 1. That's right, to 1 with a 25% chance. What? So this takes her respectable hit points and turns her into a bit of a tank. Mediocre evasion stat who cares when one out of four hits is only doing one damage? That is amazing. To top it all off with, she does have a 15 to 10% hit full barrage. Not to mention some super cute skins because, well, let's be real. That's really all that matters at the end of the day. Up next is going to be Mogami, and she is actually really interesting. Coming out of the gate with her retrofit, she goes from a light cruiser to a heavy cruiser. Not only is her retrofit skin amazing, but she definitely beefs up a lot in her stats. Literally the only thing that she really loses out on flat stat wise is like two evasion and one speed. And well, she loses her anti substat, but we really don't have to worry about that at the moment. She will change from a CL to a CA main gun toting ship on her retrofit. Full firepower, 30 to 60% chance every 20 seconds to gain 20 to 40% increased firepower for 10 seconds. Let's take her already great firepower and just beef it up even more. She comes with 234 firepower, and this already puts her up with the likes of Maya, Takao, and Atago. She outclasses them in a few stats already, so this just puts her even further beyond. AP protection is a nice skill, reducing that AP damage by 10 to 20%. Pretty straightforward. Retrofit though, she is going to be picking up suppression fire. Whenever her torpedoes hit five times, it increases her own firepower by 3.5 to 8%. This stacks up to three times and there's no falling off. Now, I'm not 100% sure on the mechanics and maybe someone can let me know in the comments, but it would be interesting to see if this is five times firing or five individual torpedoes. Like if I use a Quint Torp and they all hit, does that add a stack? If so, 21% increased firepower for the whole map on the quick? Yes, please. She also comes with a 12 to eight shot full barrage. So 
last from the new visitors ships is going to be Mikuma elite light cruiser and to be honest i absolutely love her aesthetic she totes one of the highest firepower stats among light cruisers as well as a respectable reload stat she comes with carrier protection which reduces damage taken by your carriers by 5 to 15 percent these ships are big on protecting that back line ap protection like mogami 10 to 20 percent reduction in damage and a 12 to 8 shot full barrage overall she is a solid light cruiser with some backline support also like i said she cute though foxhounds retrofit we talked a little bit about this in the last video but other than doing a total 180 and gaining some massive assets she doesn't get a huge boost in stats a bump in hp and evasion are pretty much expected but what really sets her apart is the flank coverage reduce your main fleet's damage taken by 5 to 15 percent couple this with reload command destroyer and you have a very solid dd support ship increasing reload and reducing damage plus that skin just screams retrofit me dad i mean commander Wow, that was so that was a lot of stuff up next, though. Get ready for the typical onslaught of skins. It's spring break, but these girls are already back to school. Honolulu is going to be busting out that umbrella girl skin, and she definitely doesn't want you to walk her home. Baka, the dynamic duo of Portland and Indy Chan are both getting some cute schoolgirl skins at school with Indy and at school with my sister makes such a cute set. Fubuki, in typical anime fashion, has all the makings for being almost late to class, complete with partially eaten toast. Also is Z1's rebellious top student skin, Eldritch's inquisitive recluse skin, which is so cute. Edinburgh is back in the library hitting the books and unfortunately not sharing her fries. Soryu and Hyryu come back as two sides of the coin. One is the upstanding morals committee and the other is the delinquent. I'm pretty sure that I've actually read that Joe, I mean manga in the past. Very wholesome. We will be getting new character memories for Vincennes, Honolulu, Hatsuharu, Yukikaze, and Zuikaku. We also have even more CV updates as you can see here. If you were on the fence about getting the Astoria, Quincy, or Vincennes skins, you will want to make sure that you get on those as they are going to be going away soon. They they poof at the end of the Moonlit event, which is dropping off with this patch. So this is going to be a decent sized patch. We are getting 1500 oil and 2500 coins. I do wish in the future that they would kind of buff up those coins because let's be real, 2500 is just a little drop in the bucket overall. However, it does look like we are going to have quite a bit of stuff to do here shortly. I will have a visitor's died in red full guide coming out here in the next couple of days. So make sure that you look out for that. But let me know down in the comments what you are really hyped to see in this. Are you going to be pulling for Yukikaze? I really hope so because she's really good. But I would like to take this time to thank all the patrons who help make this channel possible. You guys are the real MVPs. If you would like to join them, there's a link down in the description. Hit that link, sign up for whatever tier you feel comfortable with, get to see some behind the scenes stuff. I usually do some giveaways here and there for Patreons. But if you would like to help to support the channel, just hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification, drop me a like and a comment, and I will catch you next time, Commanders. Take it easy. Peace. Yeah.